Howdy, howdy, and how do you do? And welcome back to some Peglin with the Spin Venter. And today, yes, as you can see down here in the bottom right, we're doing our little Spin Venter uh, speed run today. First ever speed run. You're not supposed to grab the starting relic, just so you know. And the timer starts as soon as you throw your first peg. But I'll be kind of curious. It's any percent sped up. So just because the base game's kind of slow at this point, but I'm kind of curious to see how the Spinventor goes here with um, without having that base pierce granted. I know the, uh, what is it, the um, round drill doesn't have a base pierce orb either. Oh, the question marks actually is where we need to go for speed. So I'll be curious. The splat orb is a very good orb, nonetheless, for base damage wise. So I'm not too worried because unlike the round drill, well, the round drill has only a dag orb as its special orb. So it definitely is lacking thereof in that front. Unlike the, uh, what, Baladin, the Spinventer has more unique orbs to choose from, which is much better, I think, personally, but that is my personal opinion. Let's see if we can work our way. Is it faster to work our way to the bomb here? Or grab the refresh and just do more and more damage. Probably work our way to the bomb here. And we'll hit the refresh here with a strong orb. And then that's plenty of damage to get us through the trip. Uh, we'll continue on. Because it's better for the spin venter to have only one of each kind of orb. I think a question mark is going to be faster. Remove a pebble, which is great. That puts us at two pebbles now on our deck. Yes. So if we can get rid of that third pebble. Oh, if we get that crit, we would have been golden. Mm, if we hit that crit there, we would have been in a much better position. But that bomb is great. Not great damage wise there, but we'll hit. Oh, shoot. 46. No. Robbed. That wasn't 155, but this will be enough. I know we lost a little bit of time there on that fight, but it is what it is. Find negative. Your enemies. Bless. I took away too much time on that. I didn't want either one of those. Ooh, I wanted to remove this pebble, but we'll take a fight, I suppose. If we removed the pebble, we would have been in a better position, but I was moving too fast for my brain to comprehend that, which happens time to time, and I don't really have the patience for my own brain. To think th things through, I kind of like to just jump right in and get it done. Get the party started. Because the party don't start till I walk in. And then this will end that fight. Perfect. We'll take the heals and just move on. Salt totem. See, our relics are kind of poo poo magoo so far. Refillibuster's not bad. Taking on this fight's not great per se. That's perfect. Oh, we're one bomb shy. So it wasn't as perfect as I envisioned, but there, that will work. Um, we'll just continue on. I don't know why I even tried pushing to the left side. It was pointless anyway. It's all the same results in the end. And we wait for 
all four of these enemies to spawn in. I prefer not to lose any health here, but we'll lose some. Go ahead, clear out that bomb. Now everything's spawned in. Lose some health here. No, you're supposed to hit more than just one bomb. Okay, two bombs hit. That'll take care of everything. Perfect. We'll just take the heals and that. Going into this fight here. One. Ooh, I'm not the greatest at speedruns, but this one is definitely not working out too well for us thus far. I feel like five minutes in the first act is not great. You can get through the first act pretty quick in most cases. That Electro Pagnet, I picked it up because it's going to be super good against this boss. Super good. Watch this. See that? 400 and some odd damage just like that. It's just crazy good against this boss. And 50 some odd damage here. We'll do it again. Easy peasy. Lemon. Squeezy, increase max HP. I think we're fine with that. 43 gold is where we're finishing. That's enough to get rid of our one stone. We can't really upgrade our other stone, but that's fine. Apparently the key to speed runs is getting the Molten Mantle. I think Defresh Potion might have worked just as good for us there, but it is what it is. We did made our decision. We may lay, must lie in it now. We'll take on this fight because question mark into a fight's not necessarily great for us per se. You staying afloat and doing a lot of damage here is great. go down just go down just go down Ooh, we might be on better we might be on a better trail now because we no longer have our stones broccoli's good go ahead and just hit you Instead of taking two fights, we're gonna go question mark into a shop into a fight. Just because this is quicker. We don't need anything in the shop. We don't want to remove anything. We already got rid of our pebble. Perfect. We have zero pierce, but we do have... Mm, we do have... <sighs> come on now. We can hit the refresh at any time, I suppose. Thank you. We do have the, um, what is it? Molten Mantle, which is going to be very helpful for us here. Not a big fan of how you just played out there. It's not terrible, I should say. Not bad, not bad. Perfect. Simply remarkable. Ooh, gosh dang. All these are not great. Actually, no, that was a perfect relic for us. More gold equals more damage. More molten mantle damage. So yeah, that was actually a very good relic for us to have here. Fun fact. It didn't resonate with me at first, but now it's resonating that that was actually a dream, uh, dream relic. What is that sound I'm hearing? Oh, so quick. No, don't do the fight. 
the fight could be quicker, I suppose, in theory. We do want to avoid elite fights. The reason being, we don't want to fight the elite fight that has 100% blind on us. Because as you can tell, we're not doing much damage. All of our damage is coming from um, the Molten Mantle. Complex Claw is good. Push marks, yes. We're on pace for something good here. 10 minutes, it's not bad. We'd need to go right. We'd need to go right. Thank you. Exit. It doesn't matter which way we go, we're going left. The left here. We want to go down this left path. That. Take the left. <laughs> Take the right path, I suppose. Duplicate. Leave. Dang it, it's an elite fight down here. Max HP. Take it for healing and extra damage. We're at 54 max HP anyway. Check behind the waterfall. I should have ignored it. Should have ignored it. Should have ignored the waterfall. Oh, did that last speed run too. Mm -hmm. Because all of our damage is coming from Okay, we got through it. A little bit of a time loss, but that's fine. Oh, come on, just go down. <laughs> My goodness. Two elite fights back to back, same elite fight. Oh, thank you. Night and day difference, though. You're gonna go in the flame. Oh my lord. Just go down. Oh no. I'm just trying to get to the refreshes or something. Okay. Now we go. If you hit a crit, we would have been a lot better off there, but chose against the crit. Gross throw. <sighs> no. Thirteen twenty-two. Good, bad. I don't know. I think that was pretty good. First spin finter run with them. Any mistakes we made? I'd say that's pretty good. Honestly, a lot better than I thought the Spiventor would do. Hmm. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And thank you all so much for tuning in. And I look forward to talking with you all later. Bye-bye.